Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this project, we will develop an IoT based solar power monitoring system using ESP32 Wi Fi module. The ESP32 connects to the Wi Fi network and uploads the solar sensing parameters like solar panel voltage, temperature, and light intensity on Things Speak server. We will use the sensors like voltage sensor, LM35 temperature sensor, and LDR sensor to measure solar related parameters. You can observe the real time data on LCD display. The data can be viewed in the graphical format on Things Speak server from any part of the world. So let's get started with this tutorial. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now and receive the PCV in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Let's see what we need for this project. We need an ESP32 Wi-Fi module. Then a 16 cross 2 LCD display with I square C adapter. A light dependent resistor LDR. A 2.2K resistor. LM35 temperature sensor. A 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor module. A0 PCB or a Vero board. A 12 volt solar panel. You may use any other solar panel whose voltage lies between 3 volt to 25 volt. As the voltage sensor is capable of measuring any voltage below 25 volt. First, let's have a look at a block diagram for this project. The ESP32 is interfaced with the voltage sensor, LM35 temperature sensor and LDR sensor. These three sensors are used to monitor the power output, temperature and incident light intensity respectively. A character LCD is also interfaced with the board for real-time display of the measured parameters. The voltage, temperature and light parameters can be monitored in real-time and logged on Things speak server for analytics and performance evaluation. The schematic for this project is designed using EGEDA. The LCD display is connected to I square C pins. The voltage sensor LDR and LM35 sensor are connected to the ADC pin of ESP32. A 12 volt solar panel is connected to the input of the voltage sensor. I converted this schematic to PCV and arranged all the components together in the proper place. Using the auto routing, the traces were routed. The 3D view of the PCV looks something like this. You can use the cover file to order PCV for this project. In my case, I used a zero PCB to assemble all the components together. The ESP32 is placed on a holder. The LDR and LM35 are soldered on Vero board. The voltage sensor is connected via wire. And the most important thing is the solar panel that is connected to the voltage sensor input pin. Let's set up the Things Speak server now. First, login into the Things Speak account and create a new channel. Add three parameters like voltage, temperature, and light here. Save the channel, then go to the API key and copy the API key from here. This API key is used in the coding part. Save the 
Here is a code for this project. The code uses the Wi-Fi library and Liquid Crystal Wi-Fi library. Then we define the LM35 and voltage sensor pin. Some constants and variables are defined in the code as well for the calculation process. From these lines, change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Here, you need to replace the API key from your ThingsSpeak server. In the setup part, we initialized LCD and connected to the Wi-Fi network. Under the loop functions, all the mathematical calculations related to voltage, temperature and light intensity are done and also printed on LCD display. Using the post string functions, we are sending the temperature, voltage and light intensity parameters on ThingsSpeak server. That is all from the code part. You can upload this code to your ESP32 board. After uploading the code, the ESP32 will connect to the Wi-Fi network. Then it will establish a connection with ThingsSpeak server using the API key. At the same time, you can see the solar power measuring parameters on the LCD display. To check the proper working of the project, you can take the solar panel to a dark room or completely under the sun. There will be massive changes in the measuring parameters. Similarly, go to the private view of the ThingsSpeak server and you will see the parameters logged in the graphical format along with time interval. The data only uploads at an interval of 15 seconds on the ThingsSpeak server. You may change the interval to 30 seconds or 1 minute or more according to your requirement. That is all from the project part. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.